When it comes to Tesla Optimus, most will immediately picture its artificial intelligence, the smooth motion of its arms, or its ability to work for hours on end thanks to the 4,680 battery pack. But for those in the industry, the deeper and less often discussed story lies in the skeleton, the structure responsible for bearing the full load, transmitting force, absorbing impacts, and ensuring every movement is executed with precision. So, how does the process of selecting metal materials for Tesla Optimus take place? Before we begin, if you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now. You'll be the first to know the breaking news. When the Optimus project first kicked off in 2021, we began with materials familiar to the mechanical engineering industry. Standard 6061-T6 aluminum alloy with a tensile strength of 310 megapascals for the main frame. 304, stainless steel, with a tensile strength of 515 megapascals to reinforce high load points. And ABS engineering plastic with an impact strength of 250 joules per meter for the outer panels. At that stage, the primary goal was to quickly build a prototype that could stand, walk, and move its arms. No one thought much about optimizing every gram of weight or achieving durability for 10,000 hours of continuous operation. The first-generation skeleton weighed 185 pounds, sturdy enough for testing, but it had poor impact resistance and could deform 2 to 3 millimeters under unusual torsional forces during outdoor trials. When Optimus began facing harsher tests in 2024, climbing 30-centimeter stairs, lifting 40-pound objects, walking on 35-degree inclined surfaces, and enduring simulated accident impacts of up to 30 g, we quickly realized the original materials wouldn't take the project far. New requirements became clear. The frame had to be light enough to keep energy consumption under 500 watts per hour, strong enough to withstand unexpected impacts up to 60 gigahertz, and, more importantly, maintain precise geometry with deviations of less than 0.05 millimeters, so control algorithms wouldn't drift after 1 million operating cycles. After 87 failed experiments and finite element analysis on 2,500 scenarios, Tesla's materials engineering team narrowed the choice down to three materials that met the light, strong, impact-resistant criteria. The first was 7,075 aluminum alloy, commonly used in aerospace, with a tensile strength of 570 megapascals. This alloy has a very high strength-to-weight ratio, 83% stiffer than 6061 aluminum. Compared to the 2021 version, switching to 7075 reduced the mainframe's weight by 18%, bringing it down to 154 pounds while increasing tensile strength by 40%, reaching 434 megapascals. 7075 aluminum also offers excellent fatigue resistance, maintaining its shape after 2 million motion cycles with deformation under 0.1 millimeters. The second material is the 6AL4V titanium alloy chosen for joints and high-stress concentration parts such as the wrists, ankles, and hips, with a tensile strength of 950 megapascals and exceptional corrosion resistance. Titanium maintains its high strength at temperatures from negative 20 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius, which is particularly important for outdoor robot operations. Although the cost and machining difficulty of titanium are five times higher than aluminum for critical components, it ensures that heavy impacts of 50 gigahertz will not cause permanent deformation, keeping failure rates below 0.5%. The third material is carbon fiber composite, used for the outer protective panels and certain internal struts, with a tensile strength of 1,500 megapascals. Carbon fiber is extremely lightweight with tensile and torsional strength three times greater than stainless steel. When properly molded and bonded, it not only protects the internal frame, but also disperses impact forces when Optimus falls or collides with a hard object, reducing the transmitted force by 40%. Tesla uses prepreg carbon sheets and an autoclave curing process to produce components with a precision of 0.02 millimeters, cutting post-production finishing work by 15%. The selection of these three materials was not based on theory alone. We carried out destructive tests from dropping the frame from a height of 2 meters to 50 g impact collisions, to twisting the frame at 2.5 times the expected real-world load. The results showed that the new structure not only withstood these tests, but also recovered its shape with a deviation of less than 0.03 millimeters, 
Optimizing weight and strength is an ongoing process. Tesla applies a concurrent design model between the mechanical, materials, and AI control teams. When the software predicts that certain parts bear less load, we hollow them out internally or replace them with lighter materials, cutting another 5 kilograms. When collision sensor data shows that a hip joint experienced an unusual 40G load, the materials team switches to titanium alloy or adds reinforced carbon fiber layers, increasing strength at that location by 25%. Thanks to this approach, the Optimus 5 3.5 frame is 27% lighter than the first 2021 version, yet can withstand 1.8 times the force, up to 108G. An indispensable element in the manufacturing process is metal and composite 3D printing technology. For aluminum and titanium alloys, we use powder-based metal 3D printing combined with lasers to create complex parts with 0.01 mm precision, cutting machining time by 30% compared to traditional methods. This technology allows us to build internal lattice structures, similar to the hollow bones of animals reducing weight by 15% while increasing rigidity by 20%. For carbon fiber, 3D printing enables the creation of composite molds with integrated channels for wiring or hydraulic tubing inside, reducing the number of assembly pieces by 10%. Tesla makes no secret of its ambition for these materials and techniques to go beyond robotics. Aluminum and titanium alloys have long been standard in aerospace and defense but they are now manufactured with 0.02 mm production accuracy and at 25% lower cost thanks to Tesla's production lines. Smart reinforced carbon fiber composites could find their way into ultralight EV chassis, impact-resistant battery structures with 30% greater durability, or handheld medical devices that require minimal weight yet maximum strength. Looking back on the journey since 2021, Optimus's frame is far more than a mere material upgrade. It is the result of 12,000 hours of simulation analysis, 150 real-world tests, and a data-driven design mindset. If Optimus can work in a factory environment for 16 hours a day, walk the streets, or lift 165-pound loads without damage, the credit goes largely to the silent skeleton built from materials once thought to belong only in aerospace. Elon Musk once told us during a technical meeting, if you want a robot with the strength of a human but the energy consumption of a laptop, then every milligram of material has to be worth it. And with Optimusphere 3.5, we've come very close to that goal, with energy consumption reduced by 35% compared to the 2021 version. Not through magic, but through the sum of material choices made over the past four years, choices that seemed crazy at first but have proven to be the key to turning an idea into a powerful, durable humanoid partner ready to step into the real world. How Tesla Optimized the Cost of Materials to Make Optimus In developing Tesla Optimus, one of the most critical factors in achieving performance, durability, and scalable production at a reasonable cost was selecting the right material for the metal frame. From the very beginning, the engineering team narrowed down three primary contenders, 7075 aluminum alloy, titanium, and a high alloy steel with nickel content. The goal of the testing was not only to evaluate mechanical properties, such as tensile strength, fatigue resistance, impact tolerance, and corrosion resistance, but also to analyze both the testing cost and the material cost per Optimus unit in mass production. This was a problem that combined both engineering and economics. A material that performs well mechanically but is too expensive would eliminate commercial viability while a cheaper material that is heavy or lacks durability would significantly reduce the robot's operating time and reliability. The testing process lasted five months, progressing through multiple stages from digital simulations to real-world trials. Each type of material was used to manufacture a full prototype frame, keeping the design identical but completely changing the primary material to allow direct comparison. For 7,075-T73 aluminum, manufacturing a prototype frame cost around $7,500, thanks largely to its suitability for fast CNC machining and metal 3D printing. Mechanical and environmental testing for this material cost approximately $18,000, covering tensile, compression, impact, fatigue, and corrosion tests, 
bringing the total testing cost per prototype to roughly $25,500. Titanium, on the other hand, due to its higher raw material cost and greater machining difficulty, cost as much as $26,000 just to manufacture a prototype frame, plus about $22,000 for testing, raising the total cost to nearly $48,000. Meanwhile, the high alloy steel had the lowest manufacturing cost at around $6,000 US dollars, with testing expenses of about $17,000, totaling $23,000 per prototype. In the end, testing costs were only part of the equation. Tesla also had to consider material costs for mass production. The Optimus 5 3.5 frame weighs about 55 pounds. If 7,075 aluminum is used as the primary material, the most efficient material allocation is roughly 85% of the weight in aluminum, 10% in titanium for critical joints, and the remaining 5% in carbon fiber composite to reduce weight and increase stiffness in specific areas. With average prices of $12 per pound for 7,075 aluminum, $60 per pound for titanium, and $80 per pound for carbon fiber, the material cost for a complete frame comes to approximately $566. When scaling the calculation to 10,000 Optimus units per year, the cost differences become significant. With the hybrid approach of using 7,075 aluminum as the primary material, the total annual material cost comes to about $5,660,000. Factors such as stable sourcing, machining speed, and compatibility with metal 3D printing technology also play decisive roles. 7,075 aluminum has a major advantage, with abundant supply from the aerospace industry, easier machining compared to titanium, and faster 3D printing capabilities, reducing frame production time from six days to just three and a half, thereby accelerating time to market. Tesla's final decision was to select 7,075 aluminum as the main material for most of the load-bearing frame, combined with titanium for critical joints and carbon fiber for lightweight panels and struts. This hybrid approach strikes a balance between technical performance and economic efficiency, making Optimus both lightweight and durable, while keeping material costs reasonable for commercialization. Within the projected selling price of around $20,000 for Optimus, the material cost of the frame accounts for only about 2.8%, allowing Tesla to allocate more of the budget to other critical components such as the drivetrain, sensors, and AI brain. The hundreds of thousands of dollars invested in the early testing phase were therefore far from wasted, as they ensured that when Optimus reaches the market, it will not only be powerful and durable but also priced for large-scale production, fully aligned with Elon Musk's philosophy that every gram of material and every dollar spent must serve the ultimate goal. Creating a humanoid robot capable of working efficiently alongside humans at the lowest possible ownership cost. How Tesla Optimus Become the Best Homemaker Tesla's Optimus version 2.5 can currently handle about 1,500 basic tasks, but version 3 is expected to potentially double that number due to its expanded capabilities. The increased degrees of freedom make it more precise and versatile, so reaching 3,500 tasks is entirely feasible. However, Elon Musk has acknowledged that developing Tesla Bot version 3 is a formidable challenge. Every component, from motors and gearboxes to sensors and power electronics, must be custom-built by Tesla, as no off-the-shelf parts meet the robot's advanced requirements. A recent 44-second video by Figure's CEO Brett Adcock showed the Figure 02 robot picking up laundry items and placing them in a washing machine, repeating the action nine times in under a minute. Yet, it stopped short of adding detergent or starting the machine, indicating limitations in completing the full laundry process. In contrast, Tesla's Optimus was showcased dancing across a factory floor, performing spins, slides, and rapid movements with flawless balance, unsupported by wires or visual effects, as confirmed by lead engineer Milan Kovac. While Figure 02 excels in delicate hand movements such as handling soft fabrics, Optimus outshines it in full body mobility, speed, and stability. With Optimus's newly upgraded 22 joint hand, mastering tasks like handling soft items is only a matter of time. Musk emphasized the complexity of the project, noting that every part is designed from first principles, including motors, sensors, and control electronics. Tesla is leveraging neural networks, 
similar to those used in its self-driving cars, to train Optimus's limbs and sensors. Musk likened Optimus to Tesla's electric vehicles, describing both as robots optimized with the same AI techniques. Musk also shared ambitious plans to scale Optimus production, targeting up to 100,000 units per month by 2030, a goal he believes is achievable but challenging. He admitted that the initial one to two years will be tough, with potential supply chain issues or technical setbacks, especially as new features are added to version 3. These challenges align with Tesla's history of production scaling difficulties. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.